amazing, beautiful, breathtaking. All these words are great descriptions for our Montana backcountry. Dallas Fisher here, Montana Drone Company, giving our shout out to all our fans and appreciation for voting on our photo contest last month. We were featuring winter shots of our mountains in Montana. All our pilots are adventurous, getting in the backcountry, exploring, seeing Montana, whether it's snowmobiling or backcountry skiing, or just driving some back roads and finding some cool shots. And then of course, we always have our drones with us and like to bring some of those video and photo shots to you guys, our fans just to see some different aerial perspectives of what's all we have in our great state. So this month we had Jordan snowmobiling out in the Sealy Lake area, bringing his shot of North Fork Bowls. While TJ was out exploring in January, he got a great shot of a lone mountain on a contrast day. And then myself, I get out and do a lot of snowmobiling during the winter with my friends Jessica and Jared Martin. Hey guys. We did two trips, one down the West Yellowstone, one in the Big Sky area. The first shot I'll talk about is climbing the peak, which is in Taylor's Fork, just outside of Big Sky, Montana. You can see from this shot that I'm actually parked right on top of the mountain, getting some cool shots there. The sun, it was another bluebird day. The sun was just behind the peak, so I was just trying to get a different shot of showing how you could go up this mountainside. Not a lot of snow on that peak, and it's actually extremely steep. So we don't climb that one, but you can just see some of the scenic area and cool aspects of bringing a drone back there while I'm snowmobiling to get these views of Montana there. But the winter this month, down in West Yellowstone area, I called Rugged Beauty. Again, this was a picture perfect bluebird day. Not a lot of snow in the backcountry right now, so we were more exploring this beautiful day. Again, we were going to different boundaries. And this shot, climbing up on top there, seeing the different bowl again, the shot is looking into the wilderness boundary. Again, you cannot fly a drone into the wilderness but right on the border, looking into this, you can see all the untouched snow. We're right on top there. Up in this area, it was such a gorgeous day that we could actually see the Teton mountain range, again, down there in Wyoming, uh, right on top of that mountain. We also looked over in the Yellowstone Park. We saw some uh, geysers going off. Just a beautiful day in the back country, and we like to bring some of those shots too, because again, when I'm out snowmobiling, if it's a great day, I have my drone with me, pop up, get some shots. Look at some of these other ones that go with like Mitch, you know, Revive Auto Body. We went out riding together. Again, Jared's my main riding partner, getting some different shots. If I go down to Idaho, we got Drew Popa, getting some shots of him. Or I go all the way to Utah and get the ride with my brother Derek and of course my nephew Kai. So we're very adventurous. We got a lot going on in winter. It's springs already seems to be picking up. Jordan's finishing up a DNRC project right now. We are just awarded another State of Montana video project that TJ will be doing a lot of the filming on. And I'm getting ready to go back to the ranch. It's about bull season. So I need to go back and film some of our cattle up, get ready in that aspect. Again, we do film everything. So check out our content. We appreciate you checking it out. Any comment is appreciated to help the algorithm, to share it to more people. And this next month, we're gonna do sunrises. And guess what? We got a few new pilots joining our network. So we'll see how those guys do. One last shout out to thank you of all our fans. And we appreciate everything you do for us. See you, everybody.